Welcome back to the class on a power semiconductor, guys. In this class, we are going to discuss about the numerical on a static Sherbius A 400 volts, 50 hertz, 970 RPM, 6 pole star connected. Three phase induction motor has a following parameter. Refer to the stator. Stator resistance equal to 0 0.1 ohm. Total resistance referred to the stator is 0 0.08 ohm. Stator leakage reactance is 0 0.3 ohm. Rotor leakage reactance referred to the stator is 0 0.4 ohm. Stator to rotor turns ratio is 2. The motor speed is controlled by the static Sherbius drive. The drive is designed for the range of 25 percentage below the synchronous speed. The maximum value of firing angle is 165 degrees. Calculate the turns ratio of a transformer. So already we know this is a circuit diagram for the Sherbius. The maximum slip SM equal to minus A into cos alpha m. This value is given cos alpha m. So in the numerical it is given that the speed range is given 25 percent. So the slip pause induction motor is 0 0.25. So substitute the values here. We are getting the A equal to 0 0.259. Where A equal to n by m. n is nothing but a stator to rotor third ratio of induction motor. m is nothing but a primary winding to the secondary winding of the turn ratio of the transformer. In the numerical, it is given that stator to rotor turns ratio is given to substitute that value and calculate the value of m as 1.722. The second case, the torque for the speed of 750 rpm, where alpha equal 140 degrees. So first, we are going to calculate the slip-off induction motor is 780 rpm. S equal to ns minus n by ns. We are getting the substitute values. We are getting the 0 0.22. We know the expression for the VD1. Nothing but the voltage given by the direct express substitute. 3 root 6 by by 5 into S into V by N. Substitute all the values. We are getting the 65.3634. The same manner we know the, the DC voltage given by the second converter. That is equal to VD2 equal to 3 root 6 by 5. S into V by M into cos alpha. Substitute all the values. We are getting the minus 58.3634. Nine times. We know the expression for the DC link current VD1 plus VD2 by 2 into S into RS dash plus RR dash plus RD. So here RS dash is nothing but a stator resistance referred to the rotor, but in the numerical it is the value is given with respect to the stator. So you have to find out that value referred to the rotor 0 0.1 into 1 by 2 whole scale. We are getting the 0 0.025. The same manner rotor resistance also given with respect to chatter. That also you have to find out with respect to the rotor. So we are getting the 0 0.08 into 1 by 2 whole square. We are getting the 0 0.02 ohms. Substitute all the way above values in this expression. We are getting the DC link current equal to 105.130. See here the firing angle alpha equal to 140 degrees is given. That value you have to take here. When you are going to calculate the VD2. See here we calculate the DC link current. Now the torque development induction motor, a Sherbius drive that is equal to VD2 into ID by S into omega. Already we know the value of VD2 that is modulus of VD2, nothing but a, we have to take only the positive value, 58.96 into 105.13 by 0 0.22 into 104.72. This much of value you are getting, the torque development induction motor, it is 780 RPM and the firing angle is 140. Third beat the firing angle for the half rated motor car and a speed 800 rpm. The DC link conductor has a resistance of 0 0.01 ohm. We don't know what is how much is the torque development induction motor at a half load. So, first we are going to calculate how much is the torque development induction motor at a full load. The slip rate of full load equal to 1000 minus rated speed of induction motor 1970 by ns equal to getting a 0 0.02. So the full load torque, nothing but a rate of torque equal to 3 by omega ms. V square into RR dash by S divided by RS plus RR dash by S full square plus XS plus XR dash full square. That is a general expression. We know that. Substitute all the values, we are getting the 605.32 Newton meter. Now this is the value of the rate of torque. Now we want the half rate of torque. Nothing but a divided by 2, we are getting the 0, 302.66 Newton meter. Now, the speed of induction motor at a half rated torque is given 800 rpm. 
So the slip corresponding to the speed becomes say, ns minus 800 by ns, getting the 0.2 value. So VD1 is nothing but voltage given by the diode express circuit. This is a formula for that one. So to all the values, you're getting the 59.42 volts. In third bit, they ask you to find out how much is the firing angle. So VD2 is nothing but the voltage given by the converter. This is the expression that is a 3 root 6 by 5 into V by M cos alpha. Substitute all the values except alpha because we have to calculate that time. So finally, we're getting the 76.95 cos alpha. ID equal to VD1 plus VD2 by 2 into S into RS dash plus RR plus RD. This DC link resistance also given the numerical. Substitute all the values here. So finally, we're getting the ID equal to 990.33 plus 1282.5 cos alpha. Now the torque developed in induction motor equal to VD2 into ID by S into omega MS. Again, we know the value of ID2 here. We know the value of VD2 here. Substitute all the values and simplify. Finally, you're getting the expression. This is the expression what you call it. Now this is equal to half rated torque. So this value. Now you have to equate this to, and you take the cos alpha equal to minus X. Finally, we're getting the quadratic equation in terms of x. Solve for the x. We already have taken the value for the x equal to cos alpha. If we find the alpha, we are getting the two different values, 132.6 degrees and 95.45 degrees. The stable firing angle for this converter for getting the 800 RPM and operated torque, 132.6 degrees. Thank you very much. If you have any doubt, you can ask me directly or you can ask in the comment box of my YouTube channel so that I am always welcome to answer all your questions.